All right, welcome back to the next video of the series. And on the last video, we created, uh, we started to create our Apollo server and we created our type definitions. Um, what we need to do now is we need to create our data source. I know in the last video, we said we were gonna create our resolvers uh, next, but uh, our resolver can't work without our data source. Um, and what our data source is, is actually just like an API. Uh, that we're creating so what we're going to do is um, we're going to create another folder in our graph actually we'll just do it right here so we we'll say a new file and then we'll say um, actually let's create a folder create a folder in your GraphQL folder and we'll say data sources and then create a file we'll call that job.js all right and in our job.js um, it's kind of look like going to look like a react class component um, and we're just extending the data source class so first we're going to import our rest data source Require Apollo data source rest. All right, and then um, we're going to take our class, our JavaScript class, the rest data source class, actually, and we're going to call it jobs API, and that's just going to extend our rest data source. Let's add a construct constructor. Let's call super. All right, and then let's set the base URL. So this dot base URL equals, and let's go over to our GitHub Jobs API. So if we look here, um, to request. To request uh, multiple jobs, it's going to be the uh, it's going to be jobs.github.com/positions.json, and then um, for our uh, to get a specific job, it's going to be slash positions slash our ID dot JSON. All right, so um, our base URL it's what is not going to change, and that's going to be jobs that github.com all right let's go ahead and copy and paste that in and then uh, let's create an async function get all jobs all right and we want it to return this dot get and that is a function that comes with REST data source. Um, and it's just like uh, fetch or Axios when you're going in, going out and fetching a database or querying a, a REST API. Um, this works the same way. All right, so slash and then positions. Um, Dot Jason. Uh, yeah, let's make sure we got it right. Yep. All right, and then let's create another function. We're going to call it get job by ID. All right, and that ID will be passed in. to return up oh, I spell async wrong all right and we want that to return this that get so we're going to be using get again and uh, we need our back checks this time because we're going to be passing in our ID so slash position 
transitions slash and then we're going to put our ID dot JSON just like just like over here position slash ID dot JSON all right and then we need to add our data source to our API so that we can um, access it uh, in our resolver so let's say data sources create an error function all right and then we're going to return we're going to call it jobs API and then we need to import our jobs API so const equals oh, jobs API equals acquire and uh, it's in our GraphQL data sources job and then we want a new jobs API okay and uh, while we're here um, let's add our playground this isn't required um, we're just going to set our endpoint to slash graph QL so that uh, so that means whenever we go to our in our react app um, and we make a request it'll be to localhost 3500 slash graphql all right all right and that is it for this video um, in the next video we're going to go ahead and create our resolver and then we can go ahead and uh, start our server up after that and test it out um, but that's it for this one see you guys in the next one